What is up, my friends? Welcome back to The Home Slice. I hope you guys are doing well. Today, we have the finale, uh, for now, <laughs> of the death rope testing, because the one question that is left in my mind that I have saved for last is, what about dual grit CPM Magnica? Does it work? Is it better than other steels? I really want it to be, but I have no idea if it will. I will tell you that this sharpened in a very, very unusual manner. I dual grit sharpened this, and it raised a huge burr on the 250 grit stone that felt as if it just kind of popped off the moment I put it to the Japanese water stones. So that was really interesting and unusual. Usually you have more of a feeling of it moving back and forth and then refining and then you lose the ability to feel it. But it was like, boom, there. And then it was like, boom, gone. So I don't know what that means. What I will tell you is that I took this to a hair and it is whittling a hair. And from time to time, I'll try my dual grit edges, um, try to whittle a hair with them. And usually that it isn't possible, but with this magna cut it is. Those things would sort of point to the idea that it maybe has a really small and refined apex, or it deburred more fully than most steels do, which would point to the fact that maybe the dual grit edge didn't do what it normally does. Um, I don't know if that's an indication that the dual grit edge will be less effective, or could it possibly be more effective? I don't know. I do know that the the blades that seem to be doing the best in this death rope test are the ones that have a lot of texture and aggressiveness in the edge, and this one is hard for me to read. It feels aggressive, but I'm not sure how it stacks up to the last ones, but anyway, let's get into it. I should say it also uh, had a lower best reading than any of the other dual grit knives that I have done this rope of death test on. It was, a, I think, 168, which is quite good, actually. All right, let's see how we go. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing right now. Dual grit CPM Magnica eats death rope for breakfast, man. That was twice, maybe three times as fast, I think, as any test I have ever done <laughs> on this death rope. Probably the only things that come close to it were like coarse sharpened CPM M4 and coarse sharpened CPM Magna Cut. And my goodness, if you look at the cutting board here, there's bits of stones and sand and all kinds of grit that was embedded in this rope that is dumped out onto the cutting board. It is truly, that was a monumental cutting task and 63-ish, 62-ish Rockwell CPM Magna Cut with a dual grit edge means business. <laughs> that is so cool. Let's run a best test and then I'll talk about what I'm gonna be doing next in terms of testing. Best score so far, I think, 
has been just over 600, 6, 616, something like that. What? 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 What is going on here? Oh, 397? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay, we gotta double test this. That's ridiculous. That's not even like resharpening. is needed. What? What? Okay, we're gonna test a different portion of edge. That was right about here. Let's put it more like right in the middle of the belly, right about there. That's gonna be the point that took the, the brunt. Four fourteen. <laughs> 14. Holy guacamole. Okay, I'm gonna go get a piece of paper and we'll do a paper cut test. Okay, okay. Uh, last test was CPM M4. I haven't resharpened this since then. This tested at about 700. And it, it wants to cut paper out of the, no, uh, it wants to cut paper. It doesn't really want to cut paper at all. I was gonna say at the tip and at the heel, but it really actually doesn't want to cut paper at all. CPM Magna Cut. What? Are you joking? Well, that, that tore a little bit. Are you kidding me? What in the world? Okay, it's a little messy. It's like slightly messy. It, it has one point where it binds up a little bit. It doesn't want to cut as much right about here, where that where we got that 400. So it starts okay right there. Like if I push cut there, it would tear like that. But if you do a slice cut, no issues. Slice cut, there are no issues whatsoever. What in the world? <laughs> I love CPM Magna Cut. Are you with me, guys? Okay, so from here on out, I'm going to try to dial in some sharpening protocols that are ideal for some sort of non-super steels as well as super steels. And to do that, I need a rope that is not this beastly. Although, guys, hey, I feel like we have conquered this rope. CPM Magna Cut! Dual grit! So good! Anyway, um, I've gone to the rigging store and bought myself this bad boy. This is not a death rope, I wouldn't say. This is a 40 millimeter manila rope. I'm hoping it will do some real heavy duty dulling without being impossible to test anything but the best, toughest super steel on. It's not quite a death rope, so I think I've decided to call it a near death experience. But you know, for short, we'll just call it Andy. This is Andy, and you'll see Andy in our next episode. If you want to understand how insanely crazy this is, check out this video where I test a whole heap of hair whittling edges, and they all get destroyed by this death rope. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good one. Peace out.